What's up, everybody? We're going to be doing a very just quick um, break right now. Uh, we're going to be doing the Patini, uh, Panini Contenders football uh, 2021. Uh, these are flooded and, you know, it, it's retail. They're flooded in, you know, Walmart, Target, anywhere you go, basically. Um, hear nothing but, you know, <laughs> kind of bad things about it. Um, so people are getting mostly just some... Um, memorabilia type stuff they're not really getting i guess there's like a i think there's a bigger box to this like there's a mega box to this as well um that people are just basically getting napkins out of it so um i'm just you know i just bought one see what they're like see if it's even worth um buying another one or even um buying into uh, even the mega box but um the contenders doesn't have that many like inserts in it i mean this is saying that it has look for the ultra stardust parallels but um, um what else does it say right here five stunning inserts it, i mean what does that mean you know unwrap five stunning inserts you know i mean come, like give us something like give us a indication what it is you know obviously we're not getting any uh autographs from this so got a basketball one too that'll probably break uh, sometime soon as well. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to see what uh, these are about and uh, see if they're worth it. Probably some of you would already know that. You know, it's probably if they are worth it, if they're not worth it. Um, see different opinions, obviously, on like Twitter and online and stuff like that. But we'll see what it is. We'll see what it's like. Cha cha cha. Let's put it like that. Okay, it looks like it's, yeah, it's, what is that, six packs? Seven cards per pack, six packs, yep. There you go, yeah, I was looking at, uh, looking at the wrong one there. I was looking at the uh, basketball. The basketball was, uh, it's like five cards per pack. All right, first card uh, up and running, Ben Roethlisberger, happy retirement. Uh, Randall Cobb, AJ Brown, who is now a Eagle, which blows my freaking mind. It, it really, I, man, I don't, is he on a con, he's got a contract here, right? Is, is a uh, rookie contract's got to be coming up, right? So maybe that's uh, one reason why they traded him away. Um, obviously th when I'm recording this, this is obviously, this is going to, this is going to be a long ass time before you guys see it. It's probably gonna be like a month almost, but, um, so it was this is during the uh, NFL draft. I might might upload this, I don't know, uh, sooner than prior, but uh, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Matthew Stafford, who started off the draft. Uh, let's see, Trey White, uh, Damian Harris, and Rookie of the Year, Javante Williams. It's numbered as an insert, but it obviously it's not. A numbered card, but hopefully they'll have a good second year. Most running backs do. They, I mean, that's when you can really tell for at least a, a running back um, after a year or two if they don't, you know, if they don't hit the ground running after a year or two, it's kind of like, yeah, game's over. Uh, time to move on to something else and you know, hopefully uh, those guys can probably catch on to um, Marquise Brown. He got traded to uh, the Cardinals <laughs> during, um, he was a speedster. He he he, uh, he definitely dropped a lot of balls this year. But yeah, he got tra he got traded to the Cardinals. Cardinals got beefed up. Um, kind of makes you wonder about uh, DeAndre Hopkins. Um, if, if, if he's going to be coming back healthy or not, huh? Uh, Nick Shrub. Um, obviously, this is basically, this is very just um, base heavy. Fletcher Cox, uh, Brandon Cooks, Julio Jones. Um, and then we got uh, Darius Leonard. So what do you guys think of the draft? I'll probably upload this. Fuck it. I'll probably upload this, I'll upload this tonight. But what do you guys think of the draft? Um, I'm a Lions fan. Did very well. Um, didn't seem, people are saying it didn't seem like Williams wanted to be at Detroit. And 
he was supposed to get drafted by Kansas City or something like that, and that's why he wore red. And uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of conspiracy theories. But when he when he hey, when he put on the hat, man, he looked like he just nodded and he's like, yeah, let's go. But uh, hopefully they treat him well um, in terms of his injury because he's still an ACL injury. They say he's going to be full, fully ready to go by July 2nd, which is crazy. Um, they were talking about how the ACL injuries just get, you know, get coming back from it. It just gets faster and faster. Um, but a good wide receiver pick. I mean, three wide receivers all right in a row. Um, we needed, we definitely needed that. Uh, we definitely needed a a a, a powerhouse uh, edge rusher like Hutchinson. Uh, my boy's staying home. Um, Michigan boy, Michigan Wolverine. Obviously, you know, all the accolades you guys probably saw early in the draft and everything like that, but um, glad he's staying home. Um, thank, thank you, thank you, Jacksonville Jaguars. Oh, my God. I went over to their uh, Reddit page, and holy, they are pissed. They are so pissed. Uh, Justin Herbert, second year. Um, I, uh, I throw that player, Mark Andrews. Uh, but yet they were, oh my God, their whole Reddit page was just like, oh great, another um, another, another project, uh, Anthony Bennett 2 point, like they were just, they were so pissed. They wanted either uh, Tribido or, or Hutchinson. They didn't want anybody, you know, they didn't want a project. They want someone who's game ready, who's ready to kill right now. And wow, I, I feel for them, you know. Uh, that, I mean, I'm a Detroit fan, so it's like, I know how, a front office can or a or a, a coach can really just screw you over. Oh man, they <laughs> I know the uh the uh the owner Shao Khan wanted uh, Hutchinson and wow, I, I don't know. Dak Prescott and we got a uh, winning ticket of Kyler Murray. Kind of cool. Um, yeah, but uh, overall, like, the draft uh, went pretty well. I thought it went somewhat quick, especially early on. Obviously, there was a lot of trades going on, especially after around, like, the 13th, like, 11th, 13th pick. Um, man, that was crazy. I, oh, man. The Eagles, uh, man. Uh, Jalen Hurts, man. You you have no excuses now. You, you have Devontae Smith and A.J. Brown to throw to. Um, man, he, he's got weapons now. Uh, man, there's like so much going on. Um, Jared Goff has, you know, with St. Brown, with DJ Clark. Now he has Williams maybe in the second half of the season. Um, again, he's not going to have any excuses about, oh, I need confidence to play. Dude, man up. You know. Start throwing the ball accurate. You know, you know, you have a contract. You know, live up to it. That's all. You know, I, you know, I, I players sometimes. I I need confidence from my. Co what the fuck is that, man? It's like, man, it, you're you're probably. It's shocking how the how some of these guys made it this far in professional sports when you know they kind of talk about that. It's like, man, whew, it, it's it's rough. But AJ Brown again. Matthew Stafford again. A white again. Wow, this is like the same pack. Awesome. Thank you so much, Panini. God, you you make you make me want to go out and just buy more boxes of this. Mike Evans. Uh Honey Badger. MVP. Again, he is He's got he's got weapons too. Daniel Jones. Now he's you know he's got a little bit more protection, but uh, they re rescinded, I think, his his fifth option. It was a team option. So it, this this next year, this is this is it for him, basically. Because um, I can't see anybody else in the NFL picking him up, except for maybe as you know, as backup. That's about it. But yeah, this is it for Daniel Jones. This is it for a lot of people, like Daniel Jones and um, Sam Darnold. That's another one. You know, that's. Um, hopefully McCaffrey can can stay healthy. Um, um, yeah, there, there there's a lot of uh, there's some quarterbacks out there that you know this is going to be this is it this is it for him. Uh, Kenny Pickett obviously went to 
you know, stayed in Pittsburgh. He went to Pittsburgh, obviously, and um, there was a nice little story about him, you know, at the Boys and Girls Club. Now he gets to stay there and, and stay at the Boys. You know, it was kind of a cool story, but I think it's a good pickup for, uh, for, for Pittsburgh. You know, I, I think he has a lot of talent, and I think he can uh, do some damage there, possibly. Um, they had, they had the right program. They had the right franchise to uh, really ease someone into it. Um, Roethlisberger was a lot better, I think, than him, even coming out of college. I think he was more polished. Um, but uh, same kind of quarterback, though. You know, he can run. He can, you know, get out of the pocket. He can, you know, make plays on his own. Uh, but, yeah, uh, Ezekiel Elliott, we are get him again. Uh, uh, Juju Smith-Schuster. David Johnson. So we got something. I think we got some napkins on the back. Uh, Derrick Henry, poor guy. I don't, I don't know what I don't know what Tennessee's doing. I, he he's got to be. They got to be saving money, right? Uh, they have to Cooper Cup. Uh, Sam Darnold. Talked about him. Oh, what is this? Yeah, this is napkin. Rookie ticket. Uh, Jalen Darden. Darden. Wide receiver. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Napkin. Not numbered, but it is green. I don't know if I'm gonna have to look that up. See if it's uh, maybe it's like an emerald or something. Maybe, but I mean, if it's not numbered, I mean, it's not gonna be. It shouldn't be anything uh, special. But yeah, I mean, this is. I guess it's okay to get these in retail. Um, I think the box costs like twenty five dollars. I don't see twenty five dollars here so far. Um, just a whole lot of base that you really can't do much about, even though I like the design of the cards and whatnot. Um, there's not much to this. You know, there's not much to, you know, the set. You know, if, even if you buy a hobby box, man, a hobby box is something like six, seven hundred dollars And, yeah, it's it's kind of known for um, Justin Herbert again. You know, it's, it's known for their autographs, but it's like, wow, their autographs are duds, man. Um, you're, you're, you know, unless you hit those big, like top 10 guys, top 15 guys in the first round, you're definitely not going to make uh, your money back. You know, uh, I'm not, I'm definitely not going to make my money back from this Mark. And I'm just getting the same, same exact cards. It's just like, what makes me want to go out and buy another one of this, you know, other than content, you know, it, it's just, it's not worth it again. I, dude, I've gotten the same cards, dude, chain movers for, you know, Josh Allen, Probably goes for like fifty cents, maybe a dollar. You know that, like what, what? You know, it says find one rookie, find one autograph or rookie ticket swatch. On average, <laughs> per box. You know, there, there's not, there's, there's nowhere close to twenty five dollars in this. I got, you know, let's see, got two of Herbert. That's about the only one I got to swat. I've got the napkin of him that he probably didn't ever, never gonna wear, right? Let me see this. Uh, authentic memorabilia is not from any specific game or event, so it's not even worn. It's just they bought a, you know, a, a cheap uh, uh, Buccaneers jersey probably from the uh, store. Um, probably even got a discount on it. They cut a little bit out of it and they put it in here. That's that's basically what it is. MVP that. He was never ever close to an MVP contender ever. Um, winning ticket. I mean, this is. I'll probably look this up, see what it is. That and that and the uh, the Allen is probably like the only thing that's really worth anything. Obviously, you kind of rookie card of a uh, you know Javante Williams, but I mean, he he's got some work to do, right? But yeah, let's just uh, let me see if we can kind of go through some of this real quick. I I know that we got got him twice, got Darnold I think twice. I think we got Henry. Let's see, Ezekiel. I think we got Paris a couple times, maybe. And we got White a couple times. I see Stafford definitely a couple times. Let's see, we got Pascot here. Um, Andrews, where are you, you bum? There you are. Uh, Marnie Cooper, Michael Thomas. Hopefully he comes back healthy. Um, let's see. Stafford, there you are. Oh, White, there you are. AJ Brown, I think we did. I think we just passed him twice, but he was there. Um, Roethlisberger again, you know, they're all there, man. They're all dupes. Don't need them. Don't want them. Um, again, 
no sense of me going out and spending another $25, $27 on, on these boxes. You know, it's, it's, it's not worth it, you know? And, and if, you know, if Walmart and Target doesn't drop prices, I mean, this is, if I would buy another one of these, $15, I would pay max. And I'd still probably wouldn't even make my money back because this is, this is, where, where's this going to go? I could probably, you know, I'm going to probably put this in somebody when, when they buy a, a card off me in, in, uh, on eBay. Uh, but that's about it. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the draft. I, I draft with it. Um, definitely looking forward to round two and round three tomorrow. And then the rest of it, I think, is early on Saturday, uh, which kind of sucks. I kind of miss the old times where, um, you know, you kind of watched it like the entire weekend where, you really took that time out. It was always fun, but um, yeah. But uh, have a good night, everybody, and uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.